Hey guys, and welcome back to A Night Cry. When we last left off, uh, we had found Monica and Eric, for that matter, and they were hiding in this uh, storage area. Now, we have done some uh, swappy swappy stuff. We've got the Redding, uh, the, the, the Redding, yes, the Redding Wing. Uh, the Redding Wing? The Wedding Ring. There we go. If I could not have a stroke this early into the video, that'd be fantastic. Uh, more coffee is obviously required. So we've gone, we've spoken to Monica again. So let's get out of here. Yeah, we've taken the antibiotics as well, or at least we think they were antibiotics. We're going to trust our boy Eric just a little bit. I mean... If he was going to kill us, surely there's more efficient ways than using prescription medication. Admittedly, prescription medication overdose could be... Uh... No, actually, no, no. It's just there, there would be more efficient ways of doing it. Anyway, let's go. To be fair, we could have just read what was on the bottle. Uh, probably would have said antibiotics, but if it didn't, if it said rat poison, then maybe, maybe we wouldn't have taken them. But as far as I know, we're going to goblin run over here. As far as I know, it did not say rat poison. Or people poison. That would be awful. Alright, Eric, I have taken your mystery meds. I'm feeling, well, feeling, feeling better than this guy down here anyway. I wish your friends a speedy recovery. And again, make sure you take them as well. Blood poison, poisoning is no laughing matter. Now, you are correct. <laughs> but a single dose of antibiotics isn't really going to be doing an awful lot for any of us. Um, and I'm not a doctor. But I'm <laughs> pretty sure. Uh, yeah, okay. So is he not going to tell us about the... About this. Are you going through the air duct? If you're so wrapped, uh, if you've wrapped up everything on this side, you should get going as soon as possible. The scale of the damage from that explosion is unclear, but chances are that this area will be flooded too. Um, what in time or was it's, it's it's not flooded, Eric? We're... Okay. Very well, in that case, head to the passenger's floor, on the other side of the air duct. And before you go, keep an eye out for a fork in the air duct passage. One of those paths will be marked with the number 13. That's the one you want to go to, uh, go down. That's 13, remember it. What about you? I've still got to bring the power back online on this side. Don't worry, I'll be right behind you before you know it. I'm too young to die. <laughs> uh-huh. More quality writing. Anyway, this is... <laughs> I, need, I need caffeine for this. This is such an awkward angle. <laughs> I think they're trying to do the Resident Evil 6 sexy ass shot, but it... Yeah, it, it doesn't really work when you've got a square ass, you know? <laughs> it just looks stupid. Anyway, so... Here's the fork in the junction. Um, I was expecting when I originally played this an actual fork in the uh, in the duct. No, it's a freaking great big room. Oh, hello. Hey, Maria. We hate her. Or oh, Mariah. Hello, Rooney. The monster. It's in the cargo hold. What? How? Ah! Why? Why? Ah! It's so bad. Uh, professor, hello? Hello? Yeah, that would have been way more impactful, like, if that was, say, written or there was some kind of uh, intense music playing or, you know, anything other than silence. But what do I know? I'm just a moron that spouts shit into a microphone. Um, <laughs> that's so bad. So anyway, our, our dear old friend, um, Mariah, who was constantly belittling us and telling us uh, how we're getting in the way of the professor's, well, life and all the rest of it. I guess she's dead now and nobody cared. So this is number 12. 
Let's goblin walk over here. That is number 13. Now he said 12, didn't he? I'm pretty sure he did. Because 13 is an unlucky number. So let's square ass goblin march. And all of a sudden, everything changes. Huh? What? Uh-oh. That, that's not good. Yeah. Yeah, I guess, uh, I guess Rooney got flushed. Flushed away. So apparently she drowns. I don't know what happens there. She just seems to get washed back down the duct, but we hadn't gone that far into it. So, you know, I don't know. It, it, it's an end. It's a, it's a game over point. That's all that matters. Anyway, I guess we'll humor her and we'll skip. Now let's go down lucky 13. I guess it's a lucky 13, not an unlucky 13. Now we're gonna walk our way over here. Poor Mariah getting horribly murdered. And no, you can't speed this up. Just in case you're curious. Uh oh. <laughs> That's what you call a bad case of the splits. Um, yeah. <laughs> So, if you don't do this bit correctly, you uh, just die instantly. There's, um, there is a method to it. Don't worry. Your boy's got you. It's fine. I'm going to gonna show you what you need to do. So, I don't actually know if we need to hear this phone call, to be honest. I have no idea if that's actually critical. Let's go. Now, what you actually have to do is examine this. If you try and walk past this, you die, okay? But it's okay, because this bit's entertaining. Just wish Rooney would, you know, frog march a little bit quicker. She's not making much of an effort to get away, is she? Maybe she had a death wish. <laughs> uh. Hello. You're not looking so good anymore. Yeah, if we fluff this up, we just get the same impaled death animation that we got earlier. Uh, anyway, we're just going to straddle over <laughs> Mariah's head. It's fine. <laughs> no big deal. Uh, it looked like she had a somewhat miserable death. And that pleases me greatly because she wasn't very nice to Rooney. And let's be fair here, right? Rooney hasn't actually been nasty to anyone. Like, she seems to be a pleasant girl. Right? Uh, and everybody's just treating her like shit, which is... I don't like that. I'm going to be honest. I don't like bullying. You know, I'll laugh and take the piss and all the rest of it. But I don't like bullying. There's no need for it. Anyway, let's um, put the smartphone down. Dock it. You should recharge your smartphone. Absolutely. Rooney Simpson, save complete. Excellent. And we're still online. We're getting good reception out here. Although, to be fair, I would assume that the... Well, we're on a cruise ship, aren't we? Which should have its own local wireless network, which I guess is connected via satellite. So, all right. That's fine. So, it looks like we're in some kind of medical center. Okay. What we got here, Rooney? Various medicines have been crammed into the shelves. Makes sense. I guess they would have some kind of pharmacy or medical center on the ship. I can't tell what kind of medicines these are, even from the labels. Might be best not to touch them. Yeah, don't do an Eric and start just snorting and sniffing and chowing down on anything. 
Yeah, that's probably not a great idea. Well, there, there's antibiotics there. Maybe take those along with us. Well, this is an ominous room, isn't it? There's no one in this side. It's a bed lined with linen sheets. There's not a crease to be seen. Looks like no one's been using it. Well, we can hear some sort of medical equipment. Take a look through here. Hmm. 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 Fascinating. Oh. Hello. Hmm. Professor! Ooh. Kill me. He's half the man he used to be. Kill me. Yeah, this is this is pretty pretty crazy actually. Um so there's good old daddy. Um although he's you know <laughs> stand in daddy I should say. Uh definitely half the man he used to be. Um he, I don't know why you'd take your skin off. It doesn't seem to be the wisest course of action here. But um if you're wondering if we find out what happened to him, you'll be disappointed because, of course, we don't find out what happened to him. We don't know why he's in this big bucket. We don't know who put him there. We don't know why he decided to take his skin off. None of that ever gets resolved. Just, uh, just stamp out your curiosity right there. The liquid in the bathtub doesn't appear to be an ordinary water. The small ripples in the liquid reveal that whatever it is, it's more viscous than water. Eh, mineral oil, maybe. Who knows? Professor, ah, uh, I can't see or feel anything. Kill me. Kill me. Somebody. Anybody, please. His eyes are open, but they aren't taking anything in. He's uh, fixated on chanting his pleas. He doesn't even seem aware that Rooney is standing right next to him. Yeah, pretty pretty dark stuff, to be fair. Probably the darkest part of the game. I mean, it's kind of shitly played out, but this could have been a really, really cool, effective scene. Um, what would have amplified the atmosphere here quite a lot is when he was moaning and, and all that shit. Maybe, I don't know, maybe animate his mouth, you know? Uh, <laughs> something? It, oh, whatever. Anyway. So, uh, we this would appear to be Leonard's life support machine. This cold lump of machinery is the only thing between life and death for him. There's a switch down here. Does it operate this machine? Uh, yeah, so this is pivotal here. Um, if we don't turn his machine off, we get a bad uh, ending. But like I said, we'll cover all the endings at the end. So, we're going to turn him off. There's a switch for the life support machine on the lower side of the control panel. All it would take is the slightest touch, the smallest bend of the finger, and his life is forfeit. You know, this is all very dramatic, Rooney, but he's kind of fucked. You know? <laughs> yeah, uh, I think his life is already forfeit. I mean, he, he ain't getting up and walking out of there, is he? Let's be honest. Yeah, no animation on him at all. Nothing. <clears throat> Professor Leonard. <laughs> In 
incredible! You killed him! You really killed him! Killing again, Rooney. Killing me wasn't enough, was it? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm curious. How does it feel to kill someone? <sighs> Hey, where are you going? He was a father to you, you know. You aren't gonna act as if nothing happened like you did when you killed me, are you? Shut up, Connie! Huh? I remember what really happened that day. We were on a boat. I was reaching to grab your hat because the wind had blown it into the lake. What? What? But you, you tried to push me in from behind. No, that's a lie. You're lying. But it was you who fell in and you got caught in the boat's propeller. That's what really happened? Lies, 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 lies! You're twisting the story to make yourself look good! Ah! Yeah! <sighs> no, that's what you've been doing, Connie. You were always mean to me. I guess that didn't change even after you died. But I don't intend to beg for your forgiveness. I... I'm going to go on with my life. And you have no life, Lel. <laughs> yeah, that's... So, this bit is all very weird. Um, so, Connie, the little girl, was some kind of mental projection from Rooney. Uh, so, she was a little girl that accidentally died, I guess? back along and has been mentally haunting Rooney. You know, it's not that deep. That's fine. I get it. Again, awfully acted out, but sure. So why did Monica also see Connie running around? It just, that doesn't make sense. It's a bit like other people seeing Pyramid Head uh, in other Silent Hill games, apart from James. It, uh, again, it's just it's, it's little lacks of de uh, details like that just completely blow the story wide open, and you just can't can't take it seriously at all. So anyway, um, turning off Professor's life support has actually freed Connie of of her demons. I guess, I, I suppose. Okay, cool. Let's check Leonard again. Leonard's body is lying completely motionless. His lips and heart have both stopped moving. Well, his lips weren't actually moving before. All you can do is console yourself that he's gone to a better place. Well, it certainly can't be a worse place, you know. Maybe it can. Who knows? I actually like the professor. You know, it's difficult to say <laughs> I like the characters in this game because they're just nothing burgers. But... I like the professor. He was fine. You know. Okay. Well, we're back into the upper decks. Things have definitely changed around here. That's for sure. Well. Let's shine a light on this situation. I think, to be honest with you. No, we're in the right place. So this is where the explosion happened, I guess. This is the beginning. Interesting. Okay. Well, let's go examine this lift. So a lot of good stuff happens in these lifts. What is this? A card key is lying on the blood-soaked floor. Cool.
Ah, hello, friend. Well, you know what? Let's fail this one. Just for shits and gigs. Uh, I don't know what happens. We we die, because... Does he jump on us and rip us up and eat us, or...? Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. Okay. I Sorry, guys, I don't have all the answers, you know? I'm just a mortal playing this absolute fucking trash. I <laughs> just... I don't know how we died there, but... Okay. Anyway, let's go get the card key. Yeah, what is this? Blood soaked, blah, blah, blah. Then there's a look at the vampire man hanging in the corner of the room. Hello, buddy. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Just just walk away, Rooney. Just walk away. And yeah, that that's how we avoid that. Um, we, just, we just walk away from the guy. Leave him uh, to enjoy himself in that elevator. I don't know what he's doing in there, but he's obviously having a wonderful time. Uh, and to be fair, I'm glad somebody is. You know, it'd be awful if everybody was having a miserable time on this on this boat. Right, what have we got? This electrical wiring must have originally run along the walls. Sparks spill out from the severed end. Things probably won't turn out well for me if I touch that. Well, to be fair, the cable itself should be insulated. Anyway, that looks like a heavy gauge cable as well. Definitely don't want to be walking on it or anything like that. Anywho, wow, this place has certainly seen better days. We know what that is. Hello. Yep. Now this is really freaking difficult to actually get away from because I'm trying to run behind <laughs> behind us, but the game doesn't really understand or, or like to do that. Um, I died here quite a few times just yeah, just because getting the game to do what you want it to do is is that's the real enemy in this game. Anyway, take a big fat sausage, matey. A big sparky sausage. I like the way he just gives up as well. He's like, nah, nah, I don't really want any more of that nonsense. That's fine. Uh, Alright. Um, see, I possibly would have tried to move this cable a little bit further away from the water. But, what do I know? You know. It's fine. Right, let's keep going. Now, if we didn't turn off um, Matey Boy's, uh, Leonard's life support system, we'd get a uh, pretty weird, creepy ending here called Seduced by the Snake. Yeah, I'll, I'm going to let your imaginations run wild with that one for a while. Anyway, we will not be seduced by Leonard's snake today. Yeah, this place is a mess, man. What happened? Through the gaps in the towering pile of debris, a bright yellow material was visible. Somebody must be trapped down there. But I can't move all this debris by myself. I'm sorry. Oof. We should leave them to their miserable death. Let's keep going. At least the scissor walker is fucked off for a while. I guess he just doesn't like electric, you know? I can understand. Um, right, let's use our card key. We remember where we are, don't we? Alright, sorry about that. Uh, let's go. Let's get out of this little hell hole, shall we? Good lord, we had 130 frames a second then. Jesus. Right, we look like a skeleton. That's nice. Okay, let's have a little bit of a look around. We know where we are now. 
Ooh, there's lots of like moths and things. Yeah, something weird is going on. I guess we could take a little peek in the cargo hold. It's locked. It's not going to open. Ah. Yeah, of course, because they actually, <laughs> it was locked. Wait, hang on a minute. It was locked, right? And everybody was inside. That's how they got murdered. So how did Mariah get out? And You know what? I'm just, it's not worth thinking about, man. Just, it's, it's not that deep, okay? All right. So now there is some important stuff we need to do here. We need to find the uh, clothes door, which I believe is this way. Uh-huh. Yeah, look at all these weird insects and bugs and moths and things flying around. Most of the clothes here are for women, but in this single corner, there are some clothes for men. Okay. Anybody in here? Hello. Angie, what are you doing here? Oh, Rooney, don't scare me like that. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't think someone would really be back here. Yeah, well, you are. So, remember that wedding ring we got? We can give it back to Angie. Um, here. John's. It's John's. Did you find him? No, I didn't. I got this from Monica. And John, he, he's... I thought so. I thought that I might... Uh, I thought that might have been the case from the moment Monica answered John's smartphone. She must have held on to the phone for my sake, right? Uh, probably not. Probably because she needed a phone. Yeah, perhaps. Thank you. It's all I have left of him right now. Just getting this means a lot to me. Well... Give me something in return, please. What are what what are planning on doing next? What are are we? What, okay, I'm <laughs> I'm going to find a way to survive. I'm not sure if there's a way out of this situation or not, but as long as I'm breathing, I don't intend to stop searching. You're made of tough stuff, aren't you? Or maybe it's everything you've been through. I think you've changed since we met on the cargo hold. Yeah, maybe, because she let go of her demons. Here, yeah, this might be useful. A ball. A billiard ball, to be precise. The first mate was holding on to three of them when I found his body in the games room. He had three of them? On him? Strange, right? This could be like in a movie, where they leave a dead message. No, um, a dying message. Ah, that's it. Maybe he was trying to tell us something. But it seems I lost the other two balls at some point when I was on the run. It makes sense. There might be something to it. I'll hold on to the ball. Well, we have all the other balls. We have a full set of balls. We've got a seven, a six, and a one. Okay. All right, then. So, we actually needed to do that. Now, let's get out of here. I'm not sure why, like, some of these clothes are, are shredded. A bit weird. Oh, look, that, that person's got a bloody head. That's kind of cute. This is... The head is clearly f uh, of a different texture to that mannequin and carries the faint smell of blood. Hmm. Okay. Maybe that one wasn't actually a, a person. Right, let's go... Or maybe it was a person, I should say. Let's go to the movie theatre. Let's get out of here. But on the way to the movie theatre, we are going to save it and we're going to call it a game, guys. We've probably got uh, one video left, I reckon. Because, believe it or not, we are very, very close to the end of the game now. Yeah, look, all this shit everywhere. The counter is a single sheet of paper in writing. Oh. This looks like a list of pa the passengers' names. All right, they're... Okay, so there's quite a few. Uh, maybe these are the passengers who came to the theatre. 
I was going to say there's um, there's not many names on that piece of paper, but then it started on 31, so maybe there was more. Anyway, guys, I'm going to have to love you and leave you as always. Um, this game is a thing. We are suffering through it together. I'm glad I am not on this journey alone because that would be a sad, unfortunate existence. And when we return, I'm pretty confident we'll be finishing the game. So thanks for watching, guys, and as always... Till next time.